Did you see Dwight Anderson? Did you see Dwight Anderson score 51 points in three quarters? Were you there when Dwight Anderson got the rebound with four seconds left, dribbled the length of the floor, and dunked at the buzzer? Do you remember Dwight Anderson? Dwight Anderson. No, I can't say that. The legends do. When I think of Dwight Anderson, I think of uh, what could have been. I mean, he's a he's a great college player, one of the greatest college players I've ever seen. Dwight Anderson was the the Michael Jordan of all era. I think about two things. I think about um, the greatest athlete that I ever coached. Dwight Anderson, a phenom from Dayton, Ohio, the top high school player in the country, a star at the University of Kentucky who left amid controversy and landed at Southern Cal. He was so fast that they called him the blur. He tried to live life even faster. A shooting star who quickly disappeared. This is an eye-opening documentary about a life of extremes, from unforgettable plays to a forgotten man. A man who could have had everything, yet ended up with pieces of a dream. He was voted one of the top ten high school basketball players in the 1970s by Basketball Weekly. He can do everything. Average 38 points a game in high school in Dayton, Ohio. He was the fastest basketball player I've ever seen from one end of the floor to the other. They say he's the fastest man ever to play basketball in Kentucky. From B-Wright Films director Branson Wright and narrated by me, Clark Kellogg. The Blur, Dwight Anderson's rise, fall, and hope for redemption. To hear and to see Dwight declining from the player I saw in high school as a college player and, and never being able to, to, to show any of that talent even as a pro was, was the epitome of watching someone's talent being wasted. I wouldn't have been surprised you know, if he had OD'd or something came along in light of the beating that he got, you know, I mean, that's a, that's a ruthless world.